Hey guys, my name is Haley, and today I'm here to film my Book Buddy a thon wrap up. So let's get started in all the things that I read last week. So, my buddy for the Book Buddy a thon was Tina from the Never Any Bookshelf, and I will leave her channel linked down below. And our main focus of the readathon that was our buddy read was Never Night by Jay Kristoff. I ended up loving this so much and I know she really enjoyed it as well. We had a blast reading it, especially buddy reading it. I got these new tabs for my books where I can like place them in side the actual book so they don't stick out of my book because a lot of time the tabs get ruined when I do that and I really like them because they're like see-through so it won't obstruct rereading the book but I honestly just adored this. I loved the characters. I loved the writing. It was just beautiful. I need to read all of Jay Kristoff's books. I actually own his other trilogy right there. I need to get the third one so I can read it. But this was amazing. I loved the world. I loved the assassin school setting. I loved all of the teachers. It was just... It gave me a very, like, divergent... Hogwarts vibe, but like a, a really, really scary Hogwarts. <laughs> I think the Divergent vibe was mainly because they're basically initiates and they have to go through all of this training and classes and everything to even think about becoming what they call a blade in this world. This is one of my few like five out of five stars I've given this year. I loved it so, so much and I cannot wait for the second book to come out later this year. I'm so excited. And Tina, we're buddy reading that one too, right? And for the challenges of your buddy's favorite color on the cover and their first initial, I read Tandem by Anna Jarzab. This, I think, suffered from me reading two really, really good books beforehand. And just, I've been reading a lot of fantasy lately, and this is fantasy that involves parallel worlds, which, if you know me, is one of my buzzwords, and I love parallel wor worlds as, like, a plot device. And some of the writing was really pretty, but I really didn't like many of the characters, and it was really depressing. I think I gave it a three star on Goodreads. The only character that I really liked was Thomas, who is one of the parallel world He's like part of the government there and he is the love interest but I found him fascinating but all the other characters just weren't my favorite thing ever and the story itself wasn't my favorite thing ever. The only thing I was interested in was the fact that there were parallel worlds and yeah. And my buddy's favorite color is blue. There are blues in there if you can't see from far away. <laughs> and her name is Tina so this starts with a T. I think I will read the second book in the series just because I already own it, but I think I've heard that the third book got dropped by the publisher, so it's not being published unless she can self-publish it or it might be released in like e-format somewhere on the internet, so I don't know what's going on with that, but it makes me really nervous for a series that I didn't really love the first book. And for the challenge of pick three books and have your buddy pick one for you to read, she picked A School for Good and Evil, and I'm so happy that she did because I really, really enjoyed this. I gave this four stars. It's a really fun middle grade that really has a lot of dark parts to it, which I really liked. And it was very different, especially for middle grade. And it literally, like bends and breaks a bunch of stereotypes that we know about fairy tales and good and evil. I really liked Agatha as a character. Sophie was just atrocious, but I think that's the point of her character. Again, I loved the school setting. I loved the classes. I loved the ranking and just, I loved that this like puts into question what we know about being good and evil and about fairy tales in general. I really like the world and I'm really excited to read the other two books in this series. And then the last challenge was to read a book that is a guilty pleasure or that you can just pick up off your shelf to be read right then. And since it was the last day of the readathon, I just picked up Zombie Tales, The Omnibus Outbreak. And this is just a zombie graphic novel, like an anthology almost. And as you can see, it's a bunch of different art styles. And unfortunately, the only thing I liked about this was that I did like some of the art styles. I thought this art style was cool and different. This was another one that I enjoyed a lot. 
And yeah, I didn't really like any of the stories, although part of that maybe they were really only like four or five pages long each, so you didn't get a chance to get invested whatsoever in any of the characters, but yeah, it was a disappointment. I gave it two stars, but I'm happy that I read it and can now get rid of it and give it to half price books like I did with all of my disappointing reads. <laughs> So there's my wrap up for the book buddy a -thon. Thank you, Tina, for asking me to be your book buddy. Thank you all for watching, and I will see all of you guys next time.